say it, say it. Just say it, come on. Hey, hey, hood. Clamp, bitch, slam, clamp. Well, we are gonna start planting the cotton again today, planting next gen 5711, and then we're gonna swap to Delta Pine 1646. So Jeff's gonna be strip tilling, Keefe's gonna be following right behind him with the cotton planter. All right, let's get with it. Been having a bit of an issue. You know, we got the uh, tracking feet on the strip till. It did work out perfect. Then we moved to another field and it was about two inches off. So we're gonna make sure we're dead on the money now. Moment of truth. See if we're gonna be straight or not. Well, I know we'll be straight, but will we be, will we be on the exact same line that the strip tool's running? Yeah, that's gonna be hard too. Right there, that's gonna be... Yeah, just go on up quite a ways. Man. it very far we made not even one through and realized that the chain which runs our john blue pump for our pop-up our liquid fertilizer has derailed came off top sprocket came off and it uh either punctured the tire or just got the tire off the rim so that's what we got to check out now i came back to the barn now we've got to find us a piece of key stock for that sprocket i'll go look in this toolbox <laughs> Fine, son. Way too big. That's it. That's it. All right, we're back at the planter now. Keith is about to light the tire on fire. Oh yeah. Don't try this at home, folks. So what we got here is some ether, map gas. There we go. You gonna burn yourself? I ain't gonna burn myself. Go out. There we go. What you need? I got it. Punch it right there. Short one. Yep. Look at it. She is back on, so we're gonna give it another try. Hopefully that fixed it. Looking good. There it is. That hopper number nine is not putting out enough. We're gonna put a seal in it. God, dog. Let me get it for you. We have to. Just pulling dirt from that, just from being dusty outside. Mm -hmm. Speaking of seal, he's got some good music. Oh yeah. Every rose has a thorn. Yeah. Is that him, right? No. <laughs> no, that's um, Guns N' Roses, right? Yeah, that's Guns N' Roses. And what does Seal sing? Can't think of the song. I'll tell you, I'll tell you who, who can sing now. That's old Darius Rucker. Oh yeah, old Hootie. Kiss by a Rose. I've been by... That's Seal. That's what I was thinking. Alright, take two. I just figured out, you know how you can tell a real John Deere from an imitation John Deere? 
real John Deere got real horns. <laughs> Things have been rolling pretty good this afternoon other than my seat monitor lying to me. I checked my hoppers, you know, all my seat seems to be even from hopper to hopper, but on my monitor it's showing me that row number six and row number eight, and sometimes number five, is way below target, way below target. Just one right after another. I've adjusted everything I can adjust from inside the cab, but go back there and check the hoppers and see it looks even compared to the rest of them so I'm thinking it's just lying to me hello everyone we got us a brand new Newton Crouch 6,000 nope six ton spreader buggy right yeah. and I'm here with uh, Brian Crosby he is the uh, salesman of Newton Crouch so Brian talk about the spreader buggy we got here hey guys this is what we call our row crop model it's a six ton fully hydraulic pull spreader it's got the flotation turf tires. 18-4 tires are great for uh, row crop work since the, it'll uh, easily work for 36, 38 inch rows for row crop work. Oh yeah. This is the fully hydraulic system. So it notice it doesn't have any mechanical drive. Mm -hmm. It's set up for a variable rate, rate control system. This particular model has a roll tarp. Nice. Uh, with the arch frame. So it, it'll completely keep it dry. Right, it's right. Off. We don't have the rate control system hooked up, but this is your hydraulic control valve, which is really the workhorse of the unit. Mm -hmm. It's the one that constantly adjusts as your speed or rate changes. So this is controlling the flow to the back. Uh, this one's got the wide, what we call the flare side, which puts the outside a little wider than the outside of the tires to make it a little easier to load. Right, so you're not running into it. That's right, that's right. <laughs> And uh, this has got the 24 inch chain and the steeper side panels, which means for land plaster, for lime, you'll have less bridging issues. Yep. It'll flow through better. Um, we got your flow control for the spinners. It's a four hose system, so you just need constant mm -hmm. flow on, uh, on two remotes on the tractor to run the conveyor right. and the bed chain. And like the best part spinners. is the sight glass. That's, yep. that's yep. handy. That's right. From the seat, you can see to the back. Gate, oh yeah, you can see it. You can all easily the way. tell if you got enough to make another through. That's right. Absolutely. We can build them for different row centers. You know, gotcha. in our areas, mostly at seventy-two or seventy-six inch. That's right. Thirty-six or thirty-eight inch mm -hmm. rows. Uh, we do have adjustable axle models available, but this is a fixed spacing. Uh, but we do build them custom. All right, Brian. Well, if somebody wants a Newton Crouch spreader buggy, how do they get a hold of you? Uh, you can reach me at my cell is 229-561-0121 or Brian, B-R-I-A-N, at newtoncrouch.com. All right, that'll work. Hey, that'll work. Well, now we have two spreader buggies. We've got this one, which is the exact same as that one pretty much, besides the new one's got a tarp. Uh, we got it maybe five years ago, um, so now when we're running gypsum, we can be running two, or if we variable rate, like our potash, uh, we can be running two, two spreader buggies with that, so speed things up a little bit. All right, we'll see what else we can get into. Good morning, guys. Here we are on Saturday, and we're going to finish putting out this tail on. After that, we're going to wait about 10 days, and we're going to come in here, and we're going to plant our peanuts. Let's get with it. It says AB right there. See, this is going to be a curve. We're going to click on curve. And we're gonna make a new one. Okay, back from lunch. Gonna head over there to Donsville to the John Deere store. Gotta pick up a couple parts. So let's head that way. You okay being on film? Oh yeah. Yeah? It's all good. <laughs> all right, I got four of those. And then I need the seals that go on the covers for your... Um, but vacuum seal. The vacuum seal, yep. Let me get nine of those. Nine of them? Yep. All right. And then I need on your um, opening disc, mm -hmm. the bearings that go in there. Mm -hmm. Let me get uh, let me get four of those. Four of them. You want to be on film, Walt? It gets hard to uh, come up with material after a while, doesn't it? Oh, man, you got to be creative. All right, Walt. Appreciate it, bud. We're going to head back to work. Have a good one, man. Yeah. 
Y'all ain't gonna believe this. I found a big old set of buck horns, and the next thing I know, I get a text message from Randy. Yep. Wanting to come ride with me. Hadn't been riding with me in a while since he got his new job at GameStop. What's that? What's that beeping? That's that, that blame seed motor about to drive me nuts today. Hey, YouTube. I hadn't seen him in a while, so he's gonna come ride with me a little bit. Um, oh, yeah. Maybe you can let him play a little bit of cotton. What you think? I'd love to. You wanna play some cotton? I, I don't know how Dad would feel about it, but... Hey, what Dad don't know won't hurt him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's true. There oh, well, for real? Yeah, really come gonna let... yeah, come on. All right, um, it's gotta give me a quick... Push it forward. Right. To the left, and that's your gear. You okay. Tenth, tenth gear. I do remember if the light, if that's green, I ain't got to worry about it. No, it's, it, it's gone. It's, it's gone steer. It's right. gonna steer itself. Let's get to work. Put it in gear. Kind of ease it. Put it all the way down to the rabbit. Okay. Yep. And you plant cotton. Does it turn around on the ends, or I gotta? No, you gotta turn it around. I do, or I don't. You do. I do. So what do I do now? What do I do? Right, ease it. Uh, ease the down. Down. Bit. Yeah. All right, slow down. Okay. Now pump it out of gear. The first one? Yeah. Alright. Oh, now. Alright, there you go. Alright, whoa, 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 what, what? Right. You already got your lift up? Okay, yeah, never mind. Yeah, lift's up. Yeah, so this one kind of close to the trees, back up just a little bit. Right back. No, 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 the other back. one, the other one, right. one, right here. Oh, okay. Back up, there you go. Give us some room to turn around, there you go. You don't want to cut it too close to you, get, get, uh -huh. get the hang of it. Imagine dad wouldn't like that if you called him and said, Guess what? No, you hit he broke a, the, the, the planter now is a six row. Yeah, you can get away. He, he broke half of it. You can get away with hitting a few trees with some equipment, but you don't want to hit it with a planter. Okay. Easy peasy. Yep. Up here. Wake me up when we get to the end. <laughs> Anybody that likes playing video games, this month at GameStop, you can reserve your copy of Grand Theft Auto 6. That's all I wanted to say. What you think about the big buck edition? I do, I like it. I like it. Man, that's the shot right there. I wish you could see that. Let me see. Oh yeah, that is nice. Of course we ain't got nothing on them boilers up north. They probably there's probably wouldn't even fit in the whole front of the tractor. Big old 12 point. 30 pointer. 80,000 pointer. <laughs> should make a video game called Deer Hunter. I guess hunt deers. They got them. Remember that game years ago? It was on computer? I think the name was Deer Hunter. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they got deer hunting games. So, TV, you like playing working and stuff, or you just do it to make Jim happy? He forces you to do it. I just do it to keep my job. Okay. So, he told you if you don't participate, he's going to fire you. No, he didn't say that, but right. I'm, I'm pretty sure, you know, if you're not a team player, you won't be part of the team for long. Yeah. What a butthead. <laughs> I'll catch on quick. You know, I took, went skydiving years ago, and the instructor didn't show up, so I just YouTubed it. <laughs> I'm serious. I jumped out of a plane after watching a YouTube video. It's easy. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know what you did, but the monitor's acting right now. You just gotta know how to run it. That's why I don't understand why Dad don't hire me full time. If he just give me a shot, he'd see that I know what I'm doing out here, you know? Well, he'd probably need to work, learn to watch some lips a little bit. That might be the problem. Well, it just aggravates me when, you know, Jim can pick cotton. Jim can pick peanuts. What's in the past is in the past. Wouldn't you not agree? Oh, yeah. All right. When I flipped that picker five years ago, <laughs> I didn't, you know, I learned from my mistakes. I went accidentally pick cotton with the peanut picker. <laughs> But dad, he don't want to, he holds on to that stuff. <laughs> he won't let it go. <laughs> it ain't funny. All right, buddy. Windy. Yeah, that's the windy. Glad you got to come around. Yeah, man. man. I got to work uh, my next day off is Wednesday. So I'll try to come out here and hang out with you guys Wednesday. All right. I'll, yeah. let, you, I'll let you drive. Just come look me up. Okay. Bye. Bye. All right, guys. So that's going to be it on this beautiful Saturday. We'll go to the house and... Get ready to take the family fishing. Give y'all some words of wisdom. Always eat your vegetables. Never play with fire, you're gonna get burnt. Always listen to your mama. And fellas, even when she's wrong, she's right. And uh, what else is there? Oh yeah, 
and y'all keep it in the field, Rose.